Rarely we were discussing about pharmacology. We have planned to teach anatomy too. But as a new initiative, we have planned to teach it in Tamil as well as in English. If you have any queries or any flaws found in it, please do let us know so that it will be easy for us to make or correct those mistakes in the next videos. So let's move on to anatomy. What's anatomy? This is the science that deals with the study of human body. Human body, human structure, their organs and the locations. It is very important that a doctor should know about anatomy. So that, which is, this is the known as base of medicine. So, these are classified into 11 main subdivisions. What are those? First one is cadaveric anatomy. What is cadaveric anatomy? This cadaveric anatomy is taught in many medical colleges. So, in, in order to understand the internal organs by dissecting or autopsying the dead body. Next, it's living anatomy. Living anatomy is a condition where I study with another living organism by palpating, percussing or auscultating. These are the inspection methods. Next, what are embryology? Embryology is the study of intrauterine life, which a condition of studying the baby or fetus in a mother's womb. Next, it's histology. Histology. Histology might be a tough subject or nightmare for some people, but this is the main base of many physiology and pathophysiology cases. Histology deals with tissues, cells, structures, and their mechanisms. Now, this is the more important and most important thing of anatomy, surface or topographic anatomy, which is moreover called gross anatomy. What is this topographic anatomy? There's a difference between anatomy and topographic anatomy. In our college, we'll be studying it as OSTA, which is operative surgery and topographic anatomy. Now, topographic anatomy, this explains, normally a person doesn't know where the location of each organ or each bone is located, whether it is anteriorly or posteriorly or inferiorly or superiorly. In order to know more about their location and the prior organs, this is moreover important. Next, it's experimental anatomy. Experimental anatomy, we study moreover in anatomy. These should be experimented in some way or the other and to be done. Next, it's physical anthropology. What is physical anthropology? This is the transformation from the past to the present and which is stored to for the future uses, which can also be known as history of medicine. Next, radiological anatomy. These are which inspection methods or instrumental methods which are used to diagnose the internal organs, internal bones or something else, which are X-rays, ultrasound, CT, MRI. There are various radiological things. A doctor confirms his diagnosis with these radiological anatomy. Next, comparative anatomy. Comparative anatomy, as per the name, we can understand that it compares between two organs or two something which is present in our body. For example, the similarities and differences between a heart and a liver, which is important in this case of comparative anatomy. Now, genetics. Genetics, we have been studying this genetics since from microbiology. It also helps in this too. What is genetics study? of the DNA, RNA, their structures and everything which deals this genetics, applied anatomy. So we come to a conclusion that all these anatomy are applied in a situation like in a surgery or in your day to day practices which leads to applied anatomy. So friends, now let's discuss about the positions in anatomy. There are four main positions in anatomy. A, patient, a doctor should know at least these four positions in general. Okay? Now, anatomical position is a case in which patient is said to be in upright position. Here's the picturization of it. And next, it's supine position. Supine and prone are in same condition in which a patient is said to be in lying position. In which supine is abdomen facing upwards and prone is abdomen facing downwards. Now, this condition, lithotomic position, this is seen in pregnancy women and also in gallbladder stone removal times. So friends, now let's discuss about planes, types and their classifications. First, it's coronal plane. Coronal plane is a segment which differentiates anterior and posterior segments. 
which just imagine this as anterior and this as posterior a coronal plane which passes separating anterior and posterior segments okay now what is median plane this median plane when it passes by classifies or differentiates lateral and medial segment like this medial plane passes in between which separates lateral and medial segment okay which lateral you can just differentiate like L which is left so lateral is left medial which is right which is opposite to lateral left so it's the right okay now what is transverse plane transverse plane when it passes through a, this is a plane which passes differentiates upper and lower segments like upper and lower this is known as transverse plane so friends now let's discuss about the terms or common terms used in anatomy they differentiate some terms difference uh, differentiate from upper lip and lower lip i'll explain them in the next part so first of all the common terms for what are these used for example if you are a doctor for example if you are an orthopedician you uh, you ask a patient to take x ray you just mention that take the anterior posterior view of the x ray or lateral or medial view of the x ray you should understand what is the portions of these means okay first ventral or anterior which means on the front side like my face okay and dorsal or posterior on the back side which is the back side of my head this doesn't mean it means my face or back side of my head it mentions or refers to any parts of your body any parts of your bone or any parts of your organs okay and what is medial 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 or lateral these are the same types or are both on the opposite sides okay for this easy understanding we will be explaining the sides for your reference like what is your right will be the left right which i show what will be your left will be the left which i show okay so what is medial medial is the right side of anything which is away from the medial plane or close to the medial plane lateral lateral is the left side left side to the medial plane okay right to the medial plane is medial left to the medial plane is lateral you can easily uh, understand it like lateral l will be the left so it will be easy for you to understand proximal cranial or superior superior we mention people who are superior who are higher like higher portion of anything which is known as superior and inferior lower portion of anything is known as inferior so this is inferior now superficial and deep these both are used in many cases in many places superficial which is the top surface of your skin or anything or superficial layer we usually say it as superficial layer and deep layer which is intervening inside as known as deep layers so what is ipsilateral and contralateral i'll explain you just try to understand okay you just imagine this is your right thumb right thumb which is symmetrical or on the same side of your right leg is known as ipsilateral and your left thumb which is opposite to your right leg is known as contralateral contralateral we can easily imagine or uh, just uh, think like contralateral or controversy controversy is a situation where we say that people who are opposite to each other so it's lateral and contralateral what is imagination and evagination imagination is projection inside which forms a cavity and evagination is projection outside thanks for watching our video friends for more videos in more languages and in more subjects subscribe to our channel thank you